All right, everybody, let's just go over this. I know we're all still getting over the Super Bowl high and everything like that, but there must be some other things that we have to go over, and there will be another video tomorrow talking about something else that we'll go over, uh, but we'll talk about that tomorrow. Hint, hint. It's back. Throw up the X. It's back. Uh, but not, not right now. That'll be tomorrow noon. I don't know, noon, something like that. Whenever I decide to wake up and decide to do a video, it'll be at that point tomorrow. But let's talk about some basketball tonight. Um, now, next week is going to be a little bit different because it's, it's so bizarre that even the Warriors are still having primetime games. We're not going to talk about that right now. Let's talk about last night and this afternoon because this afternoon really showed us some things. Um, and last night also. Um, 76 is still stuck on the road. Um, so bad. Like, they got blown out by the Celtics. Tatum, Jason Tatum was just all over the 76's defense. You know, it was 116 to 95 was that score. Um, I know the 76's are kind of like banged up a little bit. So were, so were the Celtics. They were banged up a little bit. But the, the, the 76's just cannot play on the road. And as far as my Dallas Mavericks were concerned, I ended up watching um, a little bit of that game last night. It ended up being a blowout as well, 123 to 100. No Luka, no problem for the Dallas Mavericks. No Luka, no problem. He'll be gone for another five games. Um, and as far as Sunday is concerned, um, well, how about Zion, man? Let me tell you. That Zion love, Zion Williams and Sipesta really turns me off. But, you know, at the same time, it was great the Rockets, you know, came in. And, you know, it, it was a really tough game, you know, really close game. All the way, um, Rockets beat the Pelicans 117 to 109. Zion had, like, 20 points. And he had, like, well, actually, he had 19 points and 9 rebounds, I want to say. But it, he also had a couple of assists, too. He dished into one out to Lonzo Ball at one point. But the Pelicans, when they shoot cold from three, and they they just give up a lot of, throw away, throw away a lot of turnovers and stuff like that, it gets really, really bad. And it sucked. It sucked to see that, you know, there were so many turnovers that the Pelicans had. And, of course, James Harden went off as usual. Had, had at least 30 plus points. Let me take a look at those stats real quick. Um, as far as the Rockets are concerned, yeah, 40 points. 40 points in 39 minutes of James Harden. Also had a, he had a double double, almost a triple double. 10 boards, 9 assists. Man could do it all. You know, Russell Westbrook was also, you know, a big factor. Also, also Ben McLeod was also pretty good. Um, but yeah. Um, you know, this, uh, you know, actually, let me, I got the stats right here for, you know, Zion at 21 and 10, so it was a double-double. Um, but ultimately, you know, also Brandon Ingram had 28, if that makes any sense, you know, but he's, he's been a really good kind of star coming up and lately for the Pelicans. But what does this mean for the Pelicans right now? Pelicans... Pelicans, you know, they, they are, um, they are, you know, just a team that is just like, they're getting all sorts of things, you know, like, it's not necessarily wrong, but it's like, they're not, they're not fully together yet to where I can say that they're a playoff team, and it kind of sucks to say that, um, but they have plenty of time, they got 30 games or so left. So they got plenty of time to right the ship. And based on the way the West is, there's still like two spots that I think aren't wrapped up completely. I think the other six are mostly wrapped up. As far as the East goes, it's anybody's game, um, as usual, aside for the Bucks. Um, of course, we're hoping that the Bucks actually, you know, do something to make the finals this year. Uh, well, actually, I am hoping the Bucks make the finals this year. That'd be cool to see them in the finals. It's, I don't think they've, I don't think they've been in a long time, or if ever, I don't think. 
Next, let's shift gears over to college basketball because, um, yeah, it was also another interesting weekend. And the last game that really mattered this weekend was another ups. Well, not really an upset, but it was something. Iowa, I've been, I haven't talked about Garza or Iowa all year long because I haven't been able to watch an Iowa game. Um, but they uh, beat Illinois 72 65. Crazy, man. Crazy. Colorado was able to get back on track to beat USC. Uh, San Diego State looks like they're going to be undefeated for a long while, at the very least. At least until the conference tournament. I think, I don't think anybody else has really anything in the Mountain West for San Diego State. Maybe if the Mountain West hurried up and moved to 20 games like they are supposed to, um, then, you know, everything would be all right. We're not going to talk about that right now. I already made a video on that. Um, Duke, still Duke. Um, they really haven't really wowed me, per se, because they really haven't played, you know, the top-tier ACC teams yet. You know, North Carolina is kind of trash this year. Virginia, not really there. I mean, yeah, they played Louisville. It, I think they played Louisville already, but I don't know. Uh, Penn State beats Nebraska. Sad, sad day for Oregon fans. They lost to Stanford. Now, of course, that was on the Pac-12 Network, and I did not even talk anything about that. Cincinnati also beat a right team, Tulsa. Tulsa's been very interesting. They won like six straight games or something like that. They beat Wichita State. Crazy. Um, but I think the big thing yesterday was Auburn beating Kentucky. That was pretty good. Shows that Auburn, you know, those two losses they had a couple weeks ago, um, more no, they 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 didn't feel fluky or anything like that. Those losses, but it definitely served a purpose to try and motivate them to do a little bit better. Um, Rutgers also lost to Michigan, 69-63. But hey, hey, at least Baylor beat TCU, right? Dayton also beat Fordham, and Virginia Tech. Um, Took an L to number five Florida State. I gotta watch a Florida State game at some point. Uh, but Kansas, they still they kind of they kind of you know they gotta barely scrape by Texas Tech, and I don't really care at this point, you know, um, about other Big Twelve teams anyway. Um, and the other surprising thing was that Gonzaga had to scrape by without Tilly. Um, he had to scrape by without him because he got injured again. Um, and they beat San Francisco 83-79. Um, and two, uh, yeah, yeah, there was another big thing that happened you know, on Saturday was that Butler lost as a ranked team. Michigan State lost as a ranked team. Villanova lost to Creighton. Xavier, in the first game of the day, it was like 10 a.m. I wasn't able to get up to watch that, unfortunately. So, um, Xavier got a big W against Seton Hall, you know, and these teams are dropping like flies, you know, shout out to Louisville, West Virginia, um, LSU, um, those are the other three that were ranked and they won yesterday, so, you know, kudos to them. Another crazy weekend of college basketball has come to an end, and, well, we're getting closer, it's now February. It's time to build up your resumes, folks. It's time to build up your resumes. Um, of course, there's teams like Texas, like my Texas Longhorns, who do not have anything on their resume. Nothing at all. There's probably some other bubble teams out there, like the other conferences and stuff like that. I don't know the Big, Tw Big, T Big Ten, excuse me, Big Ten, probably might send maybe 12 teams to the tournament. It could be, it could not be that way, but it's looking like, you know, one of those years where it's like it's not going to be very kind. Like most years anyway, but it's not. It's definitely not going to be kind to teams that are mid-majors and stuff like that. So, there it is. That does it for college basketball. And, well, since I already answered the comments uh, about the XFL, and that's a spoiler, we'll be doing the XFL previews tomorrow, so get ready um as far as the rest of the week goes it'll be xfl preview on monday 
um, NBA slash college basketball stuff on Friday. And I don't know, I might I might not do it, but it depends. Um, might try it. it. Well, I probably can't do it. Um, Chromebook is kind of limited, but we're not going to talk about it the cheapness of the Chromebook right now. But, um, XFL previews are coming. Just sit tight. Stay, th stay there. Don't worry. Um, and XFL fans, we, uh, we stand the Dallas Renegades over here. Um, and, you know, we stand. We stand for another Dallas team that can win a championship. Because I'm ready for, ready for another championship to come to Dallas. Um, it doesn't matter where it comes from. It doesn't matter if it's like the WNBA or something like that. Uh, but um, yeah. So uh, we'll be talking about the XFL Week One. Um, I might do something with the Renegades this time around, uh, like I did with the Cowboys and stuff like that. You know get some Cowboys worthy news out um, there's actually another thing that I have about the Cowboys and it's about Dak Prescott and but we'll talk about that later um, another time so uh, yeah so basically look out for videos on Monday and Friday at the very least um, the middle of the week I do not know don't 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 ask me about the middle of the week uh, maybe Tuesday or something like that. I can work something out on Tuesday because I'm not busy that day. Um, but you know, Wednesday I'm a little busy. Monday I'm actually a little. I'm actually busy at night. But we can all. But I can make videos early in the day. So um, with that being said, everybody, you know that'll do it for this video. And you guys will really be pleased. You guys stuck around tonight. So um, yeah. Good night, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow.